Hey guys, and welcome back to Our Mesquite Life. My name is Haley. This is Brenton. This little ball of fur is Winnie, and today we're curving jack-o'-lanterns. Brenton, would you like to introduce your pumpkin and what you're going to be doing? So this pumpkin is a prestigious pumpkin of southeast Texas that uh, come from a very prestigious line of pumpkin patches that was then donated to a church that we then bought. Hi guys! We are at a pumpkin patch. Isn't it exciting? Excuse me. They have all kinds of amazing pumpkins. They have spooky pumpkins. They've got big tall pumpkins and little short pumpkins. They have eeny beeny pumpkins that I'm trying to talk Brenton into getting one of even though we don't need it. They've got these big boys. And then they've got these cute little curly pumpkins. And then over here they've got spooky pumpkins. Look at those guys. Can you see them? Working for a pumpkin to carve right now, and it's hard because I always want to get the ugly pumpkins, but they're not usually the ones that are good for carving. So that one's cool. This bad boy here. Is that my Britain? Yes, it is. My baby. We're at the Lutheran Church, Christ Lutheran Church in Lake Jackson. See, these are the kind of pumpkins I like. Like the big ugly ones. Those are my favorite. I found my pumpkin. Yeah, it's that long skinny one there. Get it. With the veins on it? Yeah, we're gonna so carve it. We're gonna carve that pumpkin. That one right there. Right there. We found our pumpkin, guys. We're bringing him home. And then we're gonna carve it. New forever home. So we can knife it. Oh my god, we're like serial killers, but for pumpkins. I found Winnie. Let's go. It's time. And so are you. This is Winnie's pumpkin. Winnie gets a pumpkin even though she can't carve it. <gasps> we can make her some pumpkin dog treats. We'll do that. Okay guys, we're done at the pumpkin patch. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. I don't know why I said welcome back because you never left. But we Went to the pumpkin patch, got pumpkins. I'll show you some pictures. We're not carving them today, we're carving them later. Uh, but we're gonna put them all in this video together. Me and Brinson are about to go and see a movie. We're oh, gonna yeah. go see the Adams family. We had pumpkin soup for dinner uh, that we made. One of the pumpkins that we bought. Show them the pumpkin. So it's got a long thingy here. Stem. Stem. Branch. Branch. Thing. Whatever it is. It's carving and a cat. Carving a cat. In the moonlight. With the moon. I'm carving a goofy face on my pumpkin. And Winnie, she's not carving it. We're going to carve it for her. She's doing a little dog. She's still upset that she doesn't get to carve her pumpkin. She's, she doesn't have thumbs. So we have these pumpkin carving kits. We got these at Walmart and they came with designs. We didn't use them. They come with markers so you can draw your design on, little carving knives. Mm -hmm. I've got mine stabbed in my pumpkin already. Scoops so you can scoop out the gunk. And then we got this kit at 
um, Lowe's and it's like a little heavier duty, which I'll probably need for my pumpkin because my pumpkin seems to be uh, difficult. Yeah. I'm gonna get mine out. His has a handle. You just stick it in there and pry it open. Probably not with that one's like flimsy. But I can just rip the top out of mine. This is where normally if I like had a face, I could feel like I was ripping the top out and getting his brains. Yeah. They'll smell bad. Mine looks funny on the inside. Interesting. We'll get you a close up of that. So I got a Brenton got a regular jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, but I'm weird, so of course I wanted to go with the uh, odd-looking pumpkin. So this is the inside of my pumpkin. We'll do a little close-up. It looks a lot different than yours, but we also cut it from the side because I wanted it long way. So it doesn't look that different. I think it's just the angle that we cut mine at is what makes it look funny because yours looks very similar. Mine's just more pale on the inside. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. Let's gut these pumpkins. done a pumpkin carving contest. Or if you've ever just smashed a pumpkin. Our, our nephew, Bo, he actually got third place in his pumpkin decorating contest at school. Congratulations, Bo. He bought a bunch of little pumpkins and they painted them colors and wrapped them in plastic to look like Smarties, the candy. It was really cute. cute idea. I couldn't believe it didn't win. Like it makes me wonder what first place was because I thought that was so creative, you know. We actually have a neighbor over there. We live in an apartment complex and our neighbor over there has a uh, Jack Skellington from uh, Nightmare. A Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas Jack-o-lantern and we went to get the mail yesterday morning and it was super cool. They had it lit up, so it was like being all spooktacular and stuff. And also, if you guys have never seen that movie, I recommend you go watch it. It's one of our favorites, and it's good because you can watch it at Christmas and Halloween. Because it counts for both. Haha, <laughs> it does. Haha, <laughs> huzzah. Getting ready to start. I already have a hole stabbed into this one. We're gonna start with the nose. I feel like it's the easiest. I need a If you're a parent, don't let your kids do this alone. I'm sure you wouldn't always you know that instinct and all. Do we have a saw? We should get one. I almost bought a battery powered. I'm like cutting down and I, I want to cut up. Be 
video. <laughs> Fucking carve it. It's hard. Don't let your kids do this by themselves. Unless you have like really strong, sure-handed children. Why do we do this again? Because you insisted on it. Fun fall festivities. You were like, let's do the jack o' lantern carving. Let's do the jack o' lantern carving. Hey, husband, let's do the jack o' lantern carving. And it looks fabulous. Just saying. Okay, now I'm going to pop my nose out. Did I get the corner? Good. My mom taught me a trick after you get it carved out, you carve it like angled and carve the extra meat out and the light comes through better. Show me that when I was little. Hey mom, if you're watching, you're not, then you're not me. Everybody say hi to my mom in the comments. She raised me. Well, her and my dad raised me. But she's the one that taught me this pumpkin trick. Say so myself. Hi, Annie. What are you doing? Are you so cute? Are you so cute? She's like, you're just one of the phone came on. You might want to switch to a smaller one to do the ears. Yep. Let's do a pumpkin fact. Pumpkin Ready? fact. that our pamper chef knives do the same colors as our pumpkin kids. <laughs> this is a pamper chef paring knife, not sponsored. These are my favorite and they're I think $10 for free. So if you need some little knives, pamper chef. I don't sell pamper chef either, so you know. I just really like some of their products. King Arthur. Ugh. Put the oh. sword in the pumpkin. Shit. Ugh. 
Okay, I got it. Woo! That's hard. Now I'm gonna put my little saw in. I bet there's like a master pumpkin carver out there that like These guys. watches people carve pumpkins on YouTube and is like the amateurs. I would if I was a pumpkin carver. It's just like, have you ever seen like a real pumpkin carver carve a pumpkin? They're, they're masters. It's crazy. This amount of skill that they have. I watched a lady, she does like where you don't cut all the way through, but you like carve it. Mm. Like you would stone. Amazing. What are you doing, Wynn? I guess we bored her. But we're not boring you guys. And if we are, tell us in the comments below. <laughs> if you're still here. We're ready. We're bored again. We're live. Not, not live, but. There's water. Yeah. progress we've made so far. Our camera tried to die on us over here. <laughs> Brenton has almost his entire pumpkin carved out. And I have most of one eyeball carved out. My pumpkin is a little tougher. We're like bending the knives for my pumpkin. Is yours bending knives? No. So this pumpkin like I got might be good for cooking, but it doesn't seem to be the best for carving. But the guts came out of mine a lot easier than it did for Brenton. Would you say? Yeah, I'd say that's accurate. If my mom was here, she would be yelling at me so hard. She always told me not to stick my finger in the hole that I had already cut, because I could stab myself. When I was little. She didn't tell me that when I was older. But if she was here, she would. Mothers know best. Not always. Not all moms. If your mom didn't know best, you don't owe her anything. But my mom usually does. I can't believe your whole pumpkin's almost done and I still have only one eye cut out. I might have you. I might have Brenton finish carving mine. Or Winnie's myself. I think I just dislocated my elbow. Pumpkin fat! I got an eye out. Let's pop it out for you guys. Half right there. Just cut a line right here. That's a lot harder than you're acting like it is. It might be easy for your pumpkin. Oh, I it. Oh, look at there. Look at there. Let's turn around and see how the eye looks. Boom. Brenton's taking my pumpkin out for a little bit. No, ma'am. I'll start on Winnie's. Winnie's a stream. Look how much 
It's inside of Winnie. Oh my goodness. Here, you got two pads. Which pad do you want to choose? You got this one, but then you got this other one. That one. Rotana. We're carving this one because I think it looks more like Winnie. So, I think I'm going to have to use this scoop because the other one's not going to fit in here. Did you just draw that one freestyle? Yeah. Well, I looked at an example, but I did draw it freestyle. I don't like the way these smell. I like the way mine smells. These smell weird. I just drop seeds on the floor. This one has so much seeds in it. Mm -hmm. Look at all those. That's just a scoop of seeds. Look at it. I see it. Winnie, why is your pumpkin so messy? Why are you so lazy? You're so lazy, dog. I will say, if you get this kit with a marker and you use the marker, my marker is staying on a lot better and I drew it like a week ago. So maybe draw your stencil like a week early and let it dry. Cause I noticed Brenton and Winnie just uh, rubbing off a lot easier. And we just did theirs today. I'm sure that's why. I will say though, the meat on this one, even though the skin is softer to the thing, it's like scaring me that I'm gonna tear it. Cause it's so soft. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm gonna pull our mouth out now. Can you guys see her mouth? And her little nose does not wanna come out. I mean, it kind of looks like crap, but we're not something masters, are we? Nope. No. We just need the light to get That's all. So this is Winnie's doggy pumpkin. It's supposed to look like Winnie. Win! You look at mama? Well, though. It might be a little less grumpy than Winnie. Pumpkin fat. It might be holed up in that corner right there. Oh. Well, that guy. Look at Look at it. Different. Okay. 
Now I just gotta do the cheeks. Whew. Are we really this invested in the cheeks? I guess we are. Oh, what, next weekend? It is next week? It's Wednesday. Um, you should know that because it's our wedding anniversary. Fun fact, in case you guys didn't know, Halloween's our wedding anniversary. I don't remember if we told you yet or not. Doom, see? You needed it. So, for our last pumpkin fact. Shoot some footage for you guys so you can see them lit up. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Uh, me and Brenton went to the movie last night. We saw Zombie Land 2. Uh, and when we got back, it was really late, so we didn't do any filming of the pumpkins. But I'm gonna go outside right now and show you guys what they look like in the daylight. And then later, when it gets dark, I'll go back out and do some footage when it gets darker so you can see them all lit up. Uh, Brenton's working late tonight, so I don't know if he's even gonna be home before 9 o'clock So I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot this so that we can get the video up on Halloween So happy Halloween if you're watching this on Halloween if not happy whatever day it is uh, Let's go see some pumpkins Okay guys, this is our jack-o'-lantern setup During the day my spoopy one here Winnie's in the middle and then Brenton's on the edge then we have our teal pumpkin in the back with some fake pumpkins that we bought. And then our little skeleton cat. Okay guys, this are our pumpkins at night. They're very spoopy. Winnie's looks so cute. And the jack-o'-lantern is so fun. And Brenton's cat actually looks like a cat. I think we did good. So, I'll see you guys back inside. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I realized we never filmed an outro for the pumpkin video. Brenton's been working late a lot, so we just haven't had time to sit down and film one. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and say thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed it. We had so much fun going to the pumpkin patch and making jack-o'-lanterns. And we hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you did, please hit the little like button and leave us a comment below. We really like hearing from you guys. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos from us in the future, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Apparently YouTube won't tell you if we upload if you don't ring the bell. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.